culture today is infecting everything in the sameness. Monopolization is beginning to show, and the people in power are no longer trying to hide it. Films and radio have no need to be presented as art. The truth that they are nothing but business is used as an ideology to legitimize the trash they intentionally produce. The culture industry remains the entertainment business. Its control of consumers is mediated by entertainment and its hold will not be broken by outright dictate, but by the hostility inherent in the principle of entertainment to anything which is more than itself. The products of the culture industry are such that they can be alertly consumed even in a state of distraction. The spectator must need no thoughts of his own. The product prescribes each reaction not through any actual adherence, which collapses once exposed to thought, but through signals. Entertainment is the prolongation of work under late capitalism. It is sought by those who want to escape the mechanized labor process so that they can cope with it again. At the same time, however, Mechanization has such power over leisure and its happiness, determines so thoroughly the fabrication of entertainment commodities, that the off-duty worker can experience nothing but after images of the work process itself. The only escape from the work process in factory and office is through adaptation to it in leisure time. And this is the incurable sickness of all entertainment.